They give Oscars for that. First stunts? <laughs> no. no. Maybe soon. Maybe soon. They're working on it. And they should. Greetings, fellow movie lovers. Welcome to Old Lady Reacts. I'm the old lady, otherwise known as Michelle. I'm a huge movie buff, and this is my channel where I react to mostly action and superhero movies that I've never seen before, but also other stuff that, other stuff that looks interesting or new. I started the channel so I could understand the inside jokes and references in WandaVision, and here we are two and a half years later, still reacting. So I love Ryan Gosling. I love Emily Blunt. So watching The Fall Guy seems like the next logical step. Um, I'm pretty excited to watch it. It has an 82 and 86% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, which is pretty good. Um, I was wondering how that compared to The Hitman, which came out about the same time. Um, and that movie, it got slightly higher ratings with 95 and 91%. Um, and I really like that movie. Uh, but I'm guessing this will be worth, the watching, worth, worth watching anyway, because Ryan Gosling's really funny. And Emily Blunt... In Edge of Tomorrow was so amazing. If you haven't seen that movie, such an underrated Tom Cruise movie. It's so, oh my gosh, so much. I like it way better than the, even the Mission Impossible movies. So yeah, check that one out. Now, I vaguely remember that The Fall Guy was a TV show when I was a kid. And it turns out, I did some Googling, of course. From 81 to 86 is when it was on. So from age 8 to like 13, I do not remember ever watching it, though. So I wanted to figure out why. Like, it seems like it would have been a cool show. Because I remember watching Magnum P.I., and this would have been kind of along that same line. But the first couple of years, it was on Wednesday nights. So I would have been watching instead One Day at a Time and The Facts of Life and Taxi. And then later seasons, it was on Thursday nights. So that would have put them opposite Cosby and Family Ties, which then led into Cheers, Night Court, and either Hill Street Blues or L.A. Law, depending on what year or season you're talking about. So uh, we would have put our TV on NBC and kept it there all night on Thursday nights. So the fall guy never would have had a chance in our house. But yeah, there's a little walk down memory lane of my childhood television viewing habits. Um, but yeah, long story short, I'm not going to have the TV show to compare this to at all. I'll just be seeing this as a one-off. But it looks like we're going to see a bit of Hannah Waddingham from T uh, Ted Lasso. She's so awesome. Stephanie Hsu, who I love from Everything Everywhere All at Once and Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. And Aaron Taylor Johnson. I think he was in Bullet Train, wasn't he? So um, we're, we've seen him on the channel before. So it'll be fun. And I guess we're going to keep my eye out for the original Fall Guy, Lee Majors. Um, although I do know his work just more from Six Million Dollar Man and The Bionic Woman, all, both of shows which I remember watching really well, really well. So yeah, before we get started, please like, subscribe, leave comments, do all the things. It really does help the channel. Make sure to let me know what you would like me to react to next, and then check out my Patreon for full-length and obscure movies, and everything over there is free to watch, so check it out. All right, let's dive into The Fall Guy. Going to town with the music right away. One, action. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Do the unknown stunt performer. And they get paid to do the cool stuff. That is cool. They also get paid to take it on the chin. Oh. And everywhere else, if you know what I mean. <laughs> she's a camera oh, operator. She's... Oh, I thought she was a director. Okay. Let me guess. Too much face. <laughs> too much face. That face? They have to hide that face? He's so cute. My jaw compared to his jaw. It's like his chin is off. Oh my god, that's... <laughs> what? She looks so different. I love her glasses. Because if I have to, I start making bad decisions. Well, you know, drinking margaritas is all about making bad decisions. Dude, they're already cute together. I'm already, I'm already shipping them. Making bad decisions. Imagine that. Good dialogue so far. Yeah, there's no way you'd be able to tell the difference between him and the other guy. Not with the glasses on. They look literally like the same. Okay. Oh, uh-oh. Was something supposed to catch him and it didn't catch him? That's not good. Kind of an occupational hazard, I suppose, though. I just watched a documentary about these buildings in L.A. I love the hair. 
Then I just... Holy, he is jacked. Wow. Well. It's like, uh, what's her name said in, in, uh, I want to say Eat, Pray, Love. It's not, uh, Crazy Stupid Love. She's like, it's like you're photoshopped. Yo, bro, I know you from somewhere. Where I know you from, bro. Oh, here we go. Tom, you know, we were absolutely devastated. He sent you a message, right? <laughs> I'm guessing not. The prayer hands emoji? Right, yeah, he's... <laughs> he sent a prayer hands emoji? That's it? Dude was on a movie I was on. Yeah. Most epic fail I've ever seen. Oh. Not helpful. Hmm. At least he stayed in shape. <laughs> He's looking a little rough. Ooh, nice. He's looking a little rough, but he stayed in shape. What, don't you want to know who it is? Nope. Is he wearing Zubas? <laughs> <laughs> the other bad like, guys are like, yeah, dude. It's a rental. It's a rental. <laughs> oh, not anymore. It's not. I'm liking the, the just the styling of the movie overall is really cool. Like the costume choices and the ca camera cuts and the music choices and. Venti, Venti, I don't want real. I don't want real. This is a sci-fi epic cosmic love story. <laughs> Sci-fi epic cosmic love story. Oh lord. One of the characters in the film acknowledges in the film that we're having a problem with the third act. Yeah? No, no. I don't think this is that kind of movie. I mean, this is that kind of movie, but she's not making that kind of movie. So is the... I mean, I, I don't know how stunts work, really. Is the stuntman responsible for the rigs and the things and all of that? Like, is it like it's in the stunt coordinator guy or the the are those safety people? There's a new driver. Who is it? Where's no. Henry? Nigel, this is the biggest. Oh, she didn't ask for him. Dan says we could do it. They st what's her name told him that she asked for him. Can we shoot sunset for sun out? You're stalling. Maybe you're stalling. Two things can be true. Brother, I <laughs> two things can be true. So far, the dialogue, I like the dialogue on this. It's good. Did you say something about me? Stop it. Your, your face, stop it. <laughs> this is really important to her. Yes, it's important to her. Yeah, I'd say. Whether it's an inch or a mile, a win is a win. It's easy. Fast and the furious. Ah! Yeah. Nice. Got this. <clears throat> Did you see the coffee lady? She's wearing like a hat. I see you in the. Yeah, give the poor man some coffee for God's sake. Do this right. Engage in the cannon now. We do the safe, but I'm like. <laughs> cannon? <laughs> I hope they got it because that car ain't going again. That's gotta hurt. So good, Dan. Is he good? So good, so good. So good. Loved it, loved it. <laughs> oh, they should have held on that first shot of him. They should have gone more with the slow mo on the taking the helmet off. Don't do that. Don't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> Why are you here? I think there's been a misunderstanding. Clearly. Yeah. The rust. Comic Con shot ruined. I know. Call H. Yeah. Comic Con shot ruined. Yeah. Take anyone, anyone else. Anyone but him. I'll be honest got, with yep. you. We literally have no one else. What's next? Why? Why did they need a little bit more detail about why there's no one else? <laughs> oh, Lord Almighty. <laughs> Ow. How are you feeling, Colm Stevens? He's good. <laughs> Technical issue, a little bump on the dolly. Huh? Can you fix that, Jimmy? Was there? Was there a little bump on the dolly? Two characters, one of them's an alien. Aliena and your space cowboy. They shared what's called a moon season. Alien and a space cowboy? <laughs> oh, Lord. And they told each other that over and over and over again. Him more than her, okay. you know, to the point where sometimes she was like, chill out, you know? <laughs> I can keep going. I can hit the rock better now, thanks. <laughs> I I can hit the rock better now, thanks. <laughs> the alien back there, that's so funny. For a little more context, Colt, Eliana's sort of devastated. And she starts sort of replaying everything in her head. <laughs> this is funny to have this, like, in front of everybody. Is he full of shit? 
<laughs> and the aliens are like, mm. And she had so many mind-blowing, far superior experiences, you wouldn't even believe it. Oh but dear. <laughs> now it's getting awkward. Yeah, it was like a sushi train. <laughs> <laughs> How many times is she gonna light him on fire <laughs> and throw him against the wall? A space cowboy had to say something if he was forced to say something. Yes, say something now. <clears throat> Maybe he can Nigel, talk. Can you, can you get him a bullhorn? I can't hear him. Oh, he's gonna have to have this conversation on a bullhorn. <laughs> it's not awkward at all. Do the aliens and the humans ever talk in private? Mm, no. No, not really. No private conversation. <laughs> no, they no. don't like doing private. <laughs> That's funny. And too hard about it. What's that? Is he? He wants to say something. <laughs> I had a similar situation when I fell in love with my wife's sister. Okay. <laughs> not, not right now. Thank you, but not right now. You know, I haven't read the script, but. I like the reflection in the glasses, those are cool. She's probably moved on. Uh, sorry, Jody. speaking of moving on. Yeah, we're we <laughs> spending a lot of money to have this conversation. Yes, go ahead and set yourself on fire again and let me fling you against a rock, please. Record! Thank you so much. Oh, it's better than parking cars, isn't it? I love her st styling and the jewelry and the hair and the outfits are all like, she looks great. What's the message in all my movies? Um, uh, nihilism is a viable worldview. <laughs> you're a stuntman, for God's sake. No one's going to notice whether you're here or not. <laughs> Ow. The patio door. Took it from his trailer. He's still doing this post-it note thing. Oh, well, let's not even get into that. At this point, it's like memento level. <laughs> Good reference. I'm, I'm enjoying all the movie references there. Was Taylor Swift? <laughs> Too well. I wonder how much they had to pay for this song. They are cute together. Who's <laughs> crying? Oh, poor guy. Sitting in the truck, crying to Taylor Swift. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> no, look on her face. Look on your face, you're a mess. <laughs> That was a cute little bit of business. Look at, your, look at your face. You're a mess. Like, you can tell. Like, there's that. I don't think that that would have been that didn't, that didn't look scripted to me. That's just because they're comfortable with each other. Promise me you're not gonna derail this, okay? Promise. Famous last words. You wanna do some donuts? That's not what we call them here. We call them something a little different in Minnesota. It's all too well. Song choice though, I do like that. Tom, Cole Seaver is just checking <laughs> in. There's literal post it notes everywhere. Is this called Orange Chicken? <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's ironic. Mm. Oh, coffee. Yeah, yeah. I love the Miami Vice jacket too. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out like, is this? Why do you look so familiar? <laughs> is this like, happening currently? And it doesn't make sense because it's like should be automatic, but the way you say it. That's like... Naomi Watts. Oh, not the BAFTA. <laughs> Prop sword. <laughs> What's funny? Now there is some dark shit going on. And the sooner I can get out of here, <laughs> what the better. glass is this? <laughs> some of his hair, too. They give Oscars for that? First stunts? <laughs> no. no. Maybe soon. Maybe soon. They're working on it. And they should. But I prefer cartoons. See, movies. I or prefer cartoons. Uh oh. What's up, man? That? That's what I like about it. What was in the Shirley Temple? So don't you get kind of used to pulling your punches when you're a stuntman? Like, would he be that good a fighter for real? Fighter, okay? Where's Ryder? I just drugged you because they paid me to. Who's that? 
Yeah. The guy that runs Ryder Security. I deliver drugs to him at the Pendleton. Ryder Security? How long does this last? Oh, when you stop seeing unicorns? <laughs> I'm gonna play Ryder. I thought I should just like cut weight a little. I you seem kind of tweaky. I'm mm, a little bit. What I mean? I strongly disagree with that. So we should keep chopping it up. Yeah. But yeah, like see, like that jacket is very that she's putting these grabbing. It's very '80s and like the little jumpsuit and like the Miami Vice reference. Like, like is this is this the '80s? Is this the '90s? Is it today? Is it split screen? Right. Do you think that it's like nostalgic, <laughs> super cool, or do you think Cute. it's mm, a gimmick? Mm. A little of both. So I like that they're on screen together. But they are in separate right. worlds, you know, visually and emotionally. Mm -hmm. Thank you, yes. Well, I'm just a boy in a... <laughs> I love it. She's still got the alien. Reminding her that Notting Hill is her favorite movie. Yep. And she watches Love Actually every year at Christmas. Yeah, as do I. Maybe, but we don't know for sure she's not going to go back to work in the street. All we know is that in the beginning, she's pretty much up for anything but kissing. And in the end, she's open to kissing. <laughs> You have got and your Julia Roberts. Yeah, not, so not, 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 no, not the same. Maybe it doesn't. Right, right. I love the alien hand. Oh. <laughs> There's a level of wackiness here that I'm really enjoying. Oh. Oh dear. Was that the rider? Yes, Gail. On the rocks in the hotel. Did he really see that, or is that the drug? doing weird, weird things. They've just been knocked out on ice. Yeah, ice baths are very good for inflammation. I was gonna say that is kind of a trendy thing is taking the ice baths. I'm gonna get some dots on your face because I need you but not your face. Oh so. God, get, yeah. <laughs> I need you but not your face. <laughs> it's cool to see it done with like, with all the rigging and all of the braces and everything. It's, it's just funny. Great qualities. He really does. Yeah, you should go for it then too. Yeah. I feel like there was probably a lot more, a lot more with the the side these side characters. I think they could have like built the, the side characters a little bit more. I worked with him on a movie. I can't believe he kept him. Oh, that's Stephanie Shu. Yay! I didn't realize we hadn't seen her yet. As you know, nothing oh, I don't in have this time industry. For an NDA. I got it. Oh, what? Oh. what the hell? They just they just kidnap her. Well, why did they leave him for there? Oh, they want the phone, but he just they. Good song, good song. Engage your core. Engage your core. <laughs> now, if he had said that in French, that would have been funny. Forget about him. All right, uh, next up, uh, we're gonna jidey. Is there a jidey in there? Yeah. Oh, now she's gotta sing. Oh God, what is she gonna sing? Oh, jeez. Just let you live without a trace. <laughs> Under the, the stunts is funny. So take a look at me now. Gotta see here how her voice is. Is she good at this? Nothing left here to remind me. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Then he tries to buy outside. <laughs> Oh, she's got it. Okay. I was going to say, she's done, she did a little bit of fight work on, on uh, everything everywhere all at once. So. Oh, the... <laughs> and he says it in French then. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. That's why you wear your seat fault, people. Like, they're going to be safe. Sell cockatoo. By koala. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Now is the winter of our discontent made glorious summer by the he's sun and yoke. But God, he's good. Huh? Yeah, he's not, he's not bad. <laughs> Interesting. So who is the other guy? There's a third one that looks almost exactly like these two. Is he? Oh, uh, oh, did he hurt him? <gasps> oh! Look at the table. He hit his head on the, on the table, and it's on video. Oh, that's not good. Seen in the hotel room where Herrera's body was discovered. Oh, that would be bad. Okay. That's a, that's a really sharp hallway security cam. No matter how far, I will find you. 
Less of the Mohicans. Oh. No, I would never doubt. I've only seen that movie once. Damn. Okay, well, we know those are blanks. Or are they? I never understood why working guns were ever allowed on movie sets in the first place, but... <laughs> One that said no soup for you. <laughs> oh, Ooh, at least he landed on the couch. Oh, it shot through the phone. So is the video gone forever? Or did it get posted somewhere? Or did he send it to himself or something? Don't shoot the dog. We're not gonna have a John Wick situation on our hands. Oh. <laughs> he does. I suppose he doesn't know that it's blanks. Here we go. <laughs> How many bullets were in that gun, though? Like seriously. No. You Dang. gotta jump. Yeah, you got no. No, you're gonna. You're gonna be jumping. Oh. oh. Hey, man. There he is. Okay. It's nothing oh personal. God. Well, I'm taking it personal. Yeah, I can see the that. Torture. You know what? It's just business. Man, he's got some abs too. Goodness gracious. You know, if you just stuck to your job instead of trying to hog the spotlight, this wouldn't have happened. I mean, Henry wouldn't be. Did he mess up his rigging? Freaky little fall because you just push my buttons, man. Yeah. Uh. Oh my God, it's cold. Give me the no. What are you doing? Get it off. Oh my God. Gee, oh. Yeah, we we're gonna put Henry's body on ice so it doesn't decompose. We can pull you out. Oh, is that why the ice was? <laughs> okay, I guess, I guess it makes sense. Sad. It's plot heavy. We're getting tangled in exposition. <laughs> Where's the phone? Tom, you need carbs. <laughs> you need carbs. <laughs> you actually do. Oh, not in the mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, he has some. He's going to spit it at him. He's going to spit it at him. <laughs> good, good, good. I have to remember that if I'm ever doused in gasoline and almost set on fire. <laughs> a little Miami Vice moment. All right. He's driving it backwards with his hands tied behind his back. Oh my god. I wasn't okay. Oh. And not because I broke my back. He couldn't I give the thumbs up. Huge. Good metaphor. Good metaphor. I just wanted you to be honest. You know. Well, there you Honestly, go. Honestly, it uh, <laughs> all hurts. Good shot. Getting hit by a car hurts. Getting thrown out of a window hurts. Now bet. Getting set on fire really hurts. <laughs> None of it ever hurt as much as not being with you. Good speech. Good speech. Is that from a movie or did I just make that up? <laughs> what is he? Is he going to run it into? <laughs> oh, dear. He'll be, he'll be all right. He's, he's gonna, we're gonna see something with a thumbs up pretty in a minute. Cold's dead. I, I don't believe that for a second. There's 36 minutes of movie left. I don't, I doubt it. <laughs> Good shot. Good shot. Good lighting. Police are currently investigating the suicide of American stunt. Don't keep watching it. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say why she hasn't done many like spites and stunts like all the fights and stunts and everything has been all him so I'm like where does she and she knows how to do this like if you watch Edge of Tomorrow she's like in there and all the fights and stuff so I was surprised that who knows you might inspire a whole generation of little Jodies to pick up cameras and make their own movie. oh good lesson yeah good line good line I obviously failed at getting us our happy ending, but I'll be damned if I'm gonna let Space Cowboy and Aliana not have theirs. No. Oh. <laughs> Space Cowboy and Aliana. <laughs> Stupidest names. She's in on it. What? Yes. Okay, come on. Let's just kiss her. No, come on. <laughs> no, we don't have time for that right now. I tried to help him. I hope you know that. But sometimes you can't help people who don't want to be saved. Those glasses are epic. I know how to do that. 
Make him do his own stunt. Impossible. <laughs> he will be terrified. Powerful weapon in all galaxy. Love. His voice is very annoying. <laughs> How did he ever get to be a movie star like that? Love is how we will win. And even if we lose. We <laughs> if we lose. Oh my God. Yeah, stoic. Yeah, yeah, I like right. it. I like yeah. it. Okay. I think it's going to be great. <laughs> the alien standing right there. <laughs> Just hanging out. I was shooting aliens way before I was paid to. Fantastic. All right, let's lock it up. He sound, who does he sound like? I'm shooting aliens way before I was paid to. Who does he sound that? What's he doing? My space cowboy! <laughs> Not Billy Bob Thornton. Who is that? Whose voice is he doing? This does not seem safe, man! <laughs> Oh, that's interesting that they're making them blow over them. Okay, that was that was cool. I love my job. <laughs> I'll bet. It does kind of look like fun to blow stuff up like that. Do my own stunt last. Oh, it's just a 250 foot jump that'll probably kill us. It's never been done before. <laughs> It'll probably kill us. You know, like Thelma and Louise. Thelma no, and Louise. Yeah. That they doesn't end well. At the end. Yes, that does. Yes, they do. According to this, this is entrapment. You can't do that. No, it's not what entrapment. Do you do because you're wearing the wire. Get shit! <laughs> and he's going to make him do the jump anyway? Actor! Wait. There's a mouth guard. Yeah, I why don't, don't I, I? Why don't I have a mouth guard? <laughs> <laughs> I am glad they got the two of them, like together because they didn't they didn't have hardly any scenes together like i think they just they only had one i feel like maybe they should have had helmets on <laughs> yikes did they kill him oh good <laughs> you're alive <laughs> i don't think he'd be able to feel that with through the gloves but okay well that because you're so easily moldable you know oh that was not the right thing to say yeah Oh, he's getting away now too. Oh dear. Yeah, that was good. Oh, he <laughs> said the dog needs to go after her. Don't shoot the dog. This design is growing on me. Yeah, it's gonna say, yeah, it's, it's, it's serviceable. Is he gonna. Is it? <laughs> I have a plan! It was like Captain America arms holding onto that uh, helicopter and the um, the bridge thing at the same time. That was good. Just wondering, you know, after this movie, if I don't go to prison, and you know, you're not busy, maybe we could go to a beach. Not, not, not right now. Not right now. Uh, oh, I don't, I don't know that he's gonna. That, that didn't that didn't look close, <laughs> but that's okay. It's a stunt movie. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that <laughs> that did not look possible, but okay. Empty Gale. <laughs> Good shot. Nice shot. <laughs> that was very cool. <laughs> of course. TV Best Kiss Award nominee, Jason <laughs> Momoa. Oh, okay. Nice. I'm not gonna lie to you. We are facing a powerful <laughs> enemy. That's a very good recasting choice, I gotta say. Bad decisions. And look, I don't want to over romanticize it or anything, but I think. But they got the dog. That's all that matters. It's even better than what you find in the movies. Okay, so they call them donuts. We call them whipping shitties here. Is that? Do you guys know that? Is that common that they call them whipping whipping shitties? But that's I've heard that that's a weird thing in Minnesota that we call them that. Through rain and fire, go fast and I'll go slow. Oh, these are the real stunt guys. Nice. And did we see Lee Majors? I can't remember. <laughs> Is this the 
theme song from the from the TV show. <laughs> it's like Dukes of Hazard. I have a feeling there's an after uh, after credit scene. So, call me crazy. I have a feeling. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's right. These guys, yeah. Can make you a massive star, you handsome beast. <laughs> there he is. Gotta get, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Three bars. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> Get me Jason Momoa's agent on the phone. <laughs> Next up, Roxanne. Nice. Great movie. Oh my gosh. This movie had a good soundtrack. I, I gotta say, like thumbs up on the soundtrack too. Fall Guy is a movie made by people who love movies, for people who love movies. Like, I adore that about it. <laughs> if you've watched anything on my channel, you know that I love movies. I love how movies are made. I find them endlessly fascinating in all forms. I love actors and the practice of acting and building a character, crafting a narrative arc and all that, costumes, lighting, music choices. I dig all of that. Every stunt scene in this movie is like a huge act of love. Every every scene of dialogue between characters, which was done almost as well as the stunts themselves, it's all so well crafted. It's so attended to. Like, is the story as good as like well, like John Wick or Edge of Tomorrow or Everything Ever Well at Once? Like, it's not as plot heavy as some of those other movies. But a Fall Guy is just pure fun, and it doesn't profess to be anything but a good time and an appreciation for a group of very unsung heroes that make action movies possible. Like you saw me, I had a smile or at least a smirk on my face the entire time. It's just like, it's just pure pleasure and silliness and cool stunts and great shots and real moments kind of punctuated by movie references. Who doesn't love that? <laughs> I had a few criticisms along the way. I found it weird the way that Stephanie Hsu's character was introduced. Like she... I feel like she there's a lot of the characters should have been introduced a little bit beforehand, although maybe she was introduced and I just didn't notice. I don't know. It was weird. Um, and there were a few characters that like they needed more oomph behind their existence. Like they need to be sprinkled more throughout. Um, well, Dan was sprinkled throughout, although I think they could have done a little bit more backstory there, although he, he was a great character and Venti, but also Iggy like just kind of showed up just for that one scene and then disappeared. Like, I don't know. I feel like we got the relationship between Colt and Jody really well. And I think the relationships between them and the secondary characters could have been like dialed up a bit rather than just having them show up only to push the plot forward and to have action in those specific scenes. Um, I probably, I mean, I understand that they wanted probably to cut it down for time because I understand how that part of movie making works too. But there are certain parts of like that that uh, could have been massaged a bit, I think, better to have more emotional or comic impact or character impact kind of thing. But overall, yeah, so much fun. Um, the action never got boring. The balance of action and um, and plot and character and dialogue and everything felt felt good and it never felt like there was just action for action's sake it always made sense within the plot and ryan gosling and em emily blunt they have hella chemistry uh they're both really fun to see on screen they remind me a lot of jason bateman and rachel mcadams in game night just very well matched and they both clearly understood the assignment here hannah waddingham has fun um, and her costumes and like all her access gold accessories and like just, yeah, it just added to the wackiness of her character. And the design of every costume here was super fun and a bit wacky. And I liked how like the set dressing overall, like the props and the accessories and the, it just like the, the styling of everything, uh, mainly in Ryder's apartment and the hotel. And then like the stuff um, around the movie sets. And stunts, that was all just very cool visually. It, it, it just really added to the world building. Um, even Jody in the screening room with the projection kind of over her face, but also behind her. It's just visually there was a lot of eye candy here. 
even outside of the stunts that were supposed to be the highlight. But for me, there was just so much other stuff that I found so much in- more interesting. So yeah, great movie. So much fun. And yeah, great Friday night, just like rough week at work, just ready to kick back and watch TV and enjoy. And yeah, I'm really glad I finally got to see this one. I wish it got more attention at the box offices. I think it deserves it. So hopefully it makes more money coming up in the future here for them. So yeah. Yay. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to see all my reactions. Tell me what you thought about this movie in the comments and let me know what you think I should be reacting to next. Then check out my Patreon. There's full length reactions and lots of exclusive content. It's all for free. I love sharing movies with you guys. Thanks for watching with me. 